hi guys welcome to a new video so today's video i have titled life updates and what all i have been purchasing so i could have done like separate separate hauls and call it a video like a couple of videos but i thought of making it into a one video thingy for the new years i have not made a video a single video during the new year so this is my very first new year's video if i fail to wish you all a very happy new year and valentine's day is approaching so before that i have to post a video and i have a couple of things that i purchased i'm more into skincare and hair care because that i consider that a way of pampering yourself and there are a couple of other things that i have incorporated in my daily regimen or routine begin with this video before we get into the actual part of the video don't fail to subscribe and hit that notification bell apart from this video i have posted a couple of other videos you can check those videos out on my channel page maya redux and today's video let me tell you i started towards the end of 2021 that was mid october or it was ex exactly october i do not remember first week of october that i started working out uh, it has been a part of my regimen since then and i take at least 30 to 45 minutes for working out that's like my minimum time of workout that i do i can go max up to one hour that is if i have the zest but you have to have like that 30 minute workout every day it keeps you active and you know you feel alive less depressed and you are less anxious the anxiety level is way low and you might not feel also anxiety that, that being said, usually workout is considered something you do in the morning. I don't do it in the morning because I can't go with body aches. You can start with like, you know, beginner level workouts before you have the, the body aches with the intermediate and advanced level workouts. What I mean to say is you have so many apps that you get on Play Store, female body workout, daily workout, and there are like visuals of how you're supposed to carry out your workout. So there are like 30 times jumping jacks, 30 times high knee uh, running in one place. So that is what I do every day. I target my abs, my glutes, my arms, my legs. So just to have everything toned. Another thing that has kept me motivated, usually workouts, if you're starting fresh, you might after a few days feel like, okay, today I'm not working out. My body is aching. I'm not going to do it i have had a bad day i don't want to work out but then there is something that is tracking your workout this is a fitness band come smartwatch it's not exactly a smartwatch i wouldn't say a smart it only notifies that you are getting a call on your mobile you cannot receive a call you can receive updates of your messages you can read the message you cannot type a mess message back so that's fine i prefer typing on a phone than my smartwatch okay so here is my amaze fit gtr 2e box and we are going to just remove the sleeve i have already been using this watch so i'm going to do like a first hand unboxing it was all sealed if you can see this gray thing there was a seal over here here we have the amazfit logo and this is the watch it had a sticker on you can see over here i'll show it to you later and just pull this out not the best unboxing experience because i've already unboxed it earlier so this sticker was on top of the watch over here and it has two haptic button uh, tactile buttons over here pretty good feel premium feel on the buttons and this casing is aluminium below it's plastic the sensors and two magnets for the charging so this box you open like this it's a nice lego like experience you open it like this on this side we have like a very thick booklet i don't read usually user manuals this is the user manual which is really thick and on this side we have the charger so my charger is lying down elsewhere i'm going to just get that to you the magnet for the charging and it sticks like this so it's pretty good and you press this you can see 
the red ring around the button so we are going to press that you have the amaze fit on your welcome page and this is my face watch face you can change the watch face by clicking like this and it's very easy to change the watch face let me tell you the user ui experience or the user interface is really amazing it's really smooth then you have your heart rate for measuring the music player the music player that you can this watch does not support any storage for music although when you have spotify on on your mobile you can put your mobile in your purse and you can operate like you know previous song next song that's all you can do then we have then we have this which gives you the weather how much degrees it is out there then you have your time you have what's going to be during the week the next you have your personal activity intelligence okay then this is for your spo2 levels this also has built in amazon alexa the very recent devices of the amazon uh, amaze fit have started the amazon alexa on these watches so you can use amazon alexa i'm not going to show you that but you get the idea again by pressing this button you can go on to your apps these are all predefined apps you cannot install apps so we have activity goals pai personal activity engine heart rate workout you can click on workout and you can go here or you can click this bottom button over here and again it takes you to workout click on more you can have much more i don't know why my camera is blurring out but this is it then you can swipe down we have torch setting uh, the brightness levels we have this is the torch we have brightness levels we have do not disturb all that sort of thing and this uh, the <coughs> this uh, wearable has a feature which is called find my phone so if you click on find my phone it will find your phone this is a uh, keep watch awake so it is a um, full on display which will drain your battery and i uh, don't really recommend that and it can find your phone find a phone i don't really know where it's gone but it should be somewhere around here I'm recording on my phone that's why I think so it's not uh, really taking it well but you can find your phone and the ringing is too loud if you're on your bluetooth headphones i recommend you don't use it you put it put your bluetooth headphones off otherwise it will really ruin your eardrums you will hear a very loud voice so that is all for this video Okay, that's all for this unboxing and what this watch looks like. I there are three variants. There is a black strap variant. There is there is black, then there is grey, and there is this matcha green, sage green, olive light olive green, mint green, whatever you want to call it. So I like this watch and it looks really premium, very futuristic on my wrist, and I might consist consider a. Uh, a full blown smart watch with like a uh, call um, support and quick message support like the fitbit one probably the fitbit one i don't want to go for samsung or apple because i don't own an iphone and 
Samsung is like something that everybody has. And that's my excuse. So I wanted to try the Fitbit one and I'm confused in between Garmin even. Garmin is like an actual sports smartwatch. So that's all. On this for music is you can just pause and play. Once you play your Spotify or any music app, you have only the option of pause and play. So the watch that I am using is the Amaze Fit GTR 2E. The E stands for essential, so it has everything that I need. Coming back to the workout plan, this is what you say a pi score. My current pi score is 77. Yesterday it was 89. So each day it tracks, it brings down your pi score so that you can level up and maintain that 100 pi score. So, you know, this is what keeps me motivated. Okay, this is like too low, I have to keep up. So I start working out daily. This is, you know, that pushes me to actually work out. Pi stands for personal activity intelligence. It monitors your heart rate with the level of workouts that you do. I have connected this with the Zap app. Zap app is the app for your Amazfit uh, wearable. And uh, the Zap app is in turn connected with Google Fit. So the Fit is also monitoring my activity. So I have to maintain a score of 150. So I can I cross like 210 out of 150 for a week. So that is good. So I have been working out. Once you sweat it all out, it literally shows on your skin. So that's the point. When I work out, my anxiety levels are low. I am less depressed. I'm more perky and happy. And uh, you know, I don't, I can't really explain my skin also is growing currently i'm not wearing anything i'm just wearing moisturizer this is my favorite moisturizer you know this is a new pack i'm almost done with this i started off with the odor which smells like favicol like i said earlier but i have restocked with two of these i can i can see a difference with these now i'm going to talk to skincare see how i jumped from workout reflecting on your skin to skincare so this has been my favorite only thing i am concerned is this packaging is like glossy packaging and this is like a matte packaging i don't know if it's the new packaging and this is the old packaging i i don't know it seems the same everything is the same on the front behind there are some up and down uh, font changes of the prescribed writing or whatever but this has been my favorite during the winters i even asked my my aunt asked for a little bit of moisturizer she loved it instantly this is really amazing for body and face if you want like a cost effective thing that can work for your whole body and you don't want to buy separate separate things and you don't want to spend as much this costs you 600 bucks it can last you for two months you know this is like an all-in-one thingy for your face and body amazing stuff but I mostly use it on my face on my elbows and my knees elbows and knees are like the rough areas it really helps for winters, I have been using my goat moisturizer. You know, this I got like mid mid year last year, and it lasted. There's quite little remaining. This is really amazing, but this is pricey. I won't be purchasing this again because my ultimate favorite is Bioderma. For summers, I'll be switching to a body yogurt. This also I have been using during this time. It smells really amazing. This is the muddy mediterranean sea salt version and i have been using this there is like the sicilian sweet pea version and uh, what are the the lavender version i'm really eager to purchase those but i still have this tub this can last me for two months during the summer i'm keeping this for summer this is amazing for winters my skin used to get flaky although i was using so so many moisturizers i would top it or layer it with bio oil bio oil is really amazing it helps you with stretch marks any kind of uh, uh, marks that you have on your body you want to tackle those this is really amazing a few drops can go a long way with this so it's a great massage oil all in one therapeutic thingy so i wouldn't say therapeutic but it works on your skin really well it doesn't have like a nasty odor a slight odor to it which is a pretty decent odor speaking about makeup i'm wearing a new lipstick it's maybelline's uh, super stay ink liquid lipstick 
I have two of those and I feel really confused about these. This is the shade Versatile that I'm wearing and this is Ringleader. This is like a pinky nude and the applicator is really amazing. You know, it applies really well. You can see my lips, it has applied really well and it uh, sits, uh, it settles down matte. Transfer proof, settles down matte. The only issue that I found with this is the variability. You cannot really take it off very easily. I have to rub Vaseline, like literally rub to take it off. And then to take off the Vaseline gunk, I have to use like my uh, face wash and it takes, it is time consuming to take it off. It is transfer proof. It doesn't transfer at all. It dries matte. Although it is like moisturizing and hydrating to the lips, it dries matte. It doesn't leave that cracky feel. So once first you apply, it's nice and liquidy. You can literally rub your lips together. But once it's like semi-dry, I would not recommend that you rub your lips at that point of time. You have to let it dry. So this is although a very good lipstick for coronavirus you know the coronavirus thing is going on and you wear a mask your lipstick transfers to your mask then what is the point of wearing a lipstick i don't know sometimes you're having a conversation with a very close one and you take off your mask you want your juicy lips to show but uh, this is great for coronavirus when you're wearing a mask it doesn't transfer on your mask so that is one thing i like about it but i'm still confused i am in love with their lip crayons though i have their lip crayons right over here i've spoken about these they're great for lining and filling the lips this is change is good and this is enjoy the view shade i really like these two nudes they're quite similar to these so these are my favorite nude shades I have even refilled for the New Year's. I've refilled this perfume from Nykaa. Very cost effective perfume to carry in your pockets, easy on the pockets, even in terms of spending and in terms of holding it in your pouch. 200 bucks, 225 I think so. Very cost effective, will last you for a month or two, maybe. It depends upon how you apply your perfume. Next thing about skincare is this. I've been using this, this is chemistry at play, two serums, one is a niacinamide 10% serum, 10% niacinamide with hyaluronic acid. I alternate these two serums, this is the retinol one, so if today I will be applying retinol at night, and tomorrow I'd apply the niacinamide and niacinamide is really good for hyperpigmentation, some spots, scarring that you have on your face, you want to reduce that, this is really good to smoothen that out. So I apply this and I go in with my moisturizer, favorite moisturizer, layer that up on top and next day I have like glowing skin. For my hair, wait, let me finish with skincare first. The next thing I've been using is this. This is my morning routine. I know foaming face washes are considered to be harsh on your skin, but this is not harsh. And I have read reviews that it smells like detergent, so I was kind of skeptical once the order was shipped. Will I like it? Because the order was already shipped and I read a review that it smells like detergent. It smells like detergent. It has a slight hint of smell of great grapefruit. When I rub it on my face, it doesn't feel harsh at all. And the claims are that it will smoothen out your skin. My skin does feel smooth and sw soft when I wash with this. So I just need a dime size amount of this creamy cleansing foam. I add some water, rub it, apply it on my face and wash everything off. So this is really good. I really, really like it. I will consider a repurchase. Um, because um, I don't know, I don't stick quite long with one product. I like to try other products. If you are a sensitive skin type, I would recommend that you try Cetaphil's Gentle Cleanser. Dermatologists like rave about Cetaphil. So I wanted to try Cetaphil even, so I might switch to Cetaphil. I don't know. This is my second bottle. One bottle is already there in my washroom. Next is sunscreen. I have restocked. <laughs> I have restocked with this sunscreen. This is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock, which is waterproof, water resistant, and this is 
dermatologically tested and this is the only sunscreen that works great on my skin it leaves like a nice dewy finish on my skin and it protects my skin so i really really like this and this is how i use it i finish it to the brim i have even added a q-tip to so that i can clean all the product out you know this is what i have been holding like you know for all this time for hair now let's speak about hair i have in college i have always been using these as styling creams these are really cheap these are 90 bucks for the tub and these are like really amazing i think the price has gone up for 100 i think so 100 rupees but the pricing has always been like this 100 to 90 rupees so it's cost effective what i do is i scoop out half the tub and i add aloe vera gel store bought aloe vera gel so that the hold of the styling cream is better this is something i have been doing recently it also hydrates my hair really well and i have been using this brand of aloe vera gel kazima but this is a variant of aloe vera gel this is with papaya extract and it looks something like this papaya is really good for hair and skin and it sm smells nice just like papaya is like a sweet papaya that's what it smells like so i'll be mixing this with this i from this brand itself kazima this is from amazon i have been mixing it with this cream the clear one which i had i mixed the clear one so i'll be using this one soon i'm mixing this and the two variants of himalaya hair creams the one is anti hair fall and one is protein hair cream if you are like hair is already protein rich you might consider just the uh, anti hair fall one because too much protein to your hair can also cause dryness so see what suits you so this is all for my haul skincare and workout that i've been doing new habits that i've been calculating you should even consider some i have been doing detoxifying drinks also which is the abcd drink a for apple b for beetroot c for carrot so you make a blend juice of this and have it like once a week it's really good it's packed with antioxidants helps with anti-aging and clearing out your skin so this is what you should do and you know live a healthy life take care of your body love yourself pamper yourself because nobody's going to do that for you you are automatically going to feel good that's all for this video if you like this video hit the like button don't fail to subscribe and hit that notification bell i should try to post soon until then bye